today we will learn about the mechanical draft cooling tower so mechanical draft cooling tower firstly we need to know what is the mechanical draft cooling tower when the circulation of air is brought about uh, by a fan or blower the tower is called mechanical draft cooling tower the mechanical draft cooling tower these are similar to the atmospheric natural draft cooling towers except that the fans are used to force the air through them and these towers may use either propeller or centrifugal fan so now the classification of mechanical draft cooling tower it is basically of two types first one is forced draft cooling tower and second one is induced draft cooling tower so now we discussed one by one induced and forced draft cooling tower so first one is forced draft cooling tower in this cooling tower a fan forces the air through the tower and hot water from the condenser is sprayed at the top of the tower through the spray header and spray nozzle fan provided on the side near the bottom of the tower forces air upward through the tower and hot water of the condenser is cooled by means of evaporation and air in the circulation so now with the help of the diagram we discuss the working of forced draft cooling tower this is basically the foundation for the condenser that is cell type and there is the water that is filled in the condenser this is the structure and here is the pipe arrangement for the spray header and from spray header here are the spray nozzles and this is a fan it is a fan motor and uh, with the help of arrow we can see the path of the hot water that is supplied from condenser to the spray header and with the help of nozzles that is supplied into the <coughs> bottom of that structure and these are the droplets of the water and here we can see air entered and this is the path of the air that moves and this is the water that is collected path of the air that is moving upward and it is the eliminator and from eliminator the exhaust air hot air that is goes out and this is the another pipe for supplying the cold water with the help of water pump to the condenser so now with the help of animation we can see the working of its forced draft cooling tower so here the fan forces the air through the tower and in its operation as we can see hot water or warm water from the condenser is sprayed at the top of the tower through the spray nozzles and when fan starts to rotate then air is forced to move upward through the tower by this propeller fan provided on the side near the bottom of the tower as we can see so 
now we can see the main working of uh, force draft cooling tower i repeat again here this is the warm water that is supplied through the spray header then spray nozzle it is goes down and then this cold water is supplied back to the condenser and from here with the help of fan air is supplied to the top and it gets the heat from the hot water and it is goes out to the atmosphere now we discuss the induced draft cooling tower induced draft cooling tower the fan is located at the top as we discussed the fan is located at the side in case of force draft cooling tower but in induced draft cooling tower fan is located at the top and it sucks the air through the tower and the hot water from the condenser is passed through the water header and nozzles and air is sucked through the sprayed water and water cools by means of the evaporation and stored at the bottom and recirculated so this is the introduction about induced draft cooling tower and now again this is the condenser cell type and this is the structure this structure is uh, different from the structure of the force draft and this is the arrangement for makeup water again this is the spray header spray nozzles and these are the lowers and from here the intake air is go entered into the cooling tower and this is the path of the air this is eliminator and it is the fan that is located at the top of the cooling tower and this is air out and with the help of arrow it shows the direction of the hot water that is supplied from the condenser to the spray header and from spray header with the help of spray nozzles water in the form of droplets that is supplied and it is collected at the bottom of that cooling tower and it is the cold water after giving its heat to the air and this is the pipe for supplying the cold water from cooling tower to the condenser with the help of the water pump so this these are the main components of the induced draft cooling tower and now with the help of animations and uh, we can see the main working of the induced draft cooling tower and we also see how the fan sucks the air through the tower that is mounted at the top and how a air enter at the bottom of this tower so all this uh, working that now we see with the help of animations and the pump starts to rotate this cold water supply to the condenser and from condenser the hot water is supplied to the spray headers from spray header with the help of spray nozzle water is supplied in the form of the fine droplets and with the help of blowers air is supplied into the cooling tower and it takes the heat from the hot water and finally it goes out and fan sucks the air at the top and finally this air goes out to the atmosphere so this is the whole arrangement of the induced draft cooling tower and now we will discuss the advantages of mechanical draft cooling tower the first advantage is mechanical cooling tower are smaller than natural draft cooling towers of the same capacity because large volume of forced air increases the cooling capacity and the next advantage is the cooling capacity of mechanical draft cooling towers can be controlled by controlling the amount of forced air 
and the last one is the mechanical draft cooling towers can be located inside the building because they do not depend upon the atmospheric air and here are some disadvantages of the mechanical draft cooling tower the first one is mechanical draft cooling towers require additional power to operate the fans and the next one is maintenance of fans motors and controls increases the operating cost so this uh, today we learnt about the mechanical draft cooling tower its types force draft induced draft and working of both and some advantages and disadvantages of mechanical draft cooling tower subscribe to get more updates and more video on mechanical topics and universe double two you may like share among students and friends you can ask your queries by commenting give your suggestions if required thank you have a nice day